Good afternoon, YouTube. I hope we're all doing very well. I hope everybody is having or has had an absolutely fantastic weekend because by the time this video goes up, the weekend will actually be over. Today, guys, is deadlift day. Now, deadlifts is something I believe I've not brought to the channel for quite some time now. Um, and I say that because I think I've just literally focused on putting everything on Instagram. So with that being said, we're going to take you guys through today's deadlift session. I believe there is going to be a little bit of an extra atmosphere throughout today's Ultraflex Durham because Leroy Davis is going to be there, Anthony Bales is going to be there, Cuba and Mark have actually made the trip through I believe as well. So there's going to be a little bit of an atmosphere which is going to just make things hopefully 10 times better but regardless it's going to be deadlift day it's going to be back day as you guys know whenever i train deadlifts i also train back it's not just a specific deadlift day where i go in and just do deadlifts on their own we're going to hit back afterwards but the main priority is going to be deadlifts now something that i've changed a little bit with regards to my deadlift sessions has been the work prior to me doing deadlifts now i'm not doing deadlifts at the end of the session but I'm not going in straight away and doing deadlifts raw. Obviously I'm doing a lot of pre-activation work to make sure that I'm super warm, but I'm actually doing a few back movements such as a pull down or a chest supported row, just to get a little bit of stimulus around more so my lower back area and of course just my back in general, get a little bit of blood around the area that I'm gonna be putting a lot of demand on. So with that being said, we'll do a little bit of that today. Um, I'll bring that obviously to you guys, show you exactly what I do. I don't take things to failure, I don't take things as heavy as possible it's just really to be able to more so make sure that i am warmed up and i felt so much better doing this and then doing deadlift second i felt so much warmer so much more supported so much safer and it's just really gave me a better deadlift session so that's exactly what we are going to do today however i'm not going to ramble on anymore at the start of this video i hope you do enjoy it if you do enjoy it please do not forget to drop the video a like for me subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll catch up with you all when we get to the gym was actually to do the chest supported t-bar row but it's been taken i want to still do something that's gonna stimulate my lower lats and a bit of my lower back so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna place this seat a bit higher on here i should still be able to get that nice connection that i need with my lower back my lower lats get them warmed up and then it'll be time to pull off the floor a lot safer and a lot more supported as well guys I'm not taking this to failure I'm leaving probably upwards of between maybe three and five good solid reps in the tank which is the reason behind this we're just more so getting warm um, I found that whenever I've came in and done this whenever I've been deadlifting I've got on so much better so we are just gonna do this for one more set and then we'll look to pull off the floor next This is either gonna make the session or break the session to be fair. I probably should have done 
250 or even 240 for a warm-up to be fair because I've just been kind of used to getting to that 220 then going 220, 260 that's what I've done today but 260's actually moved surprisingly well and I say well, felt better than what I thought it was going to feel it's moved better than what I thought it was going to move so what we're going to do is we're going to do 280 so I'm only going up 20 kilograms we're going to take that for a single and then maybe go for 310 so I would rather go 280, 310 rather than 260, 310 because I've been going up, obviously 50 kilo jumps, yes, but a 50 kilogram jump from 260 to 310 is a lot different to 120 to 170. So, taking on board, obviously, I don't want to ruin myself by doing too big of a jump and only getting a single when I could do a little jump and get this one rep out of the way as quick as possible. Then what I'll do is I'll go up to 310 and if I feel good enough, I'll try and get anywhere between one and three reps. So I think that should be good enough. Um, we'll see how it feels. But I'll get 280 out of the way and then we'll take it from there. Too much. I done 240 for six last week, so 250 for eight this week. I'm 100% taking that. I put myself under quite a lot of pressure and say it's like this because I I pride my physique, training, mentality, everything off of doing stuff that. That in this day you shouldn't be able to do as an actual athlete. I know what I'm capable of. I'm obviously going to go through good days and bad days, but even on the the bad days or the not so good days, that pressure's still there to do really fucking well. So taking taking the double was okay, but taking 250 for an eight on a deficit is much better. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Deficit bent over rules, can you even call them that? I don't even think you can call them that. However, what the plan of attack was, was I would get my deadlifts done. Sarah would then do her deadlifts. I would jump onto something else. What I wanted to jump onto is unfortunately taken and keeps getting taken. So, we auto-regulate within the session, we improvise, we make something else work. So I'm doing barbell rows, and as you'll see, we're not gonna take these ones super heavy, guys, because at the end of the day, I've just done deadlifts. There's no reason and no excuse for me not to do the um, bent over rows or barbell rows. However, because I'm obviously pulling off a deficit as well, 
what I'm doing is I'm just more so focusing on getting a nice stretch, staying as bent over as I can and focusing on that elbow drive and trying to get my elbows up as, as high and as hard as possible. So we'll go maybe max 120 kilograms for 8 to 12 reps over the course of 3 sets. So I've done 100, I might do 120 and then I'll do 120 again. Probably fall at maybe a set of 8 for my third set and then we'll move on to the rest of the back session. guys i'm gonna wrap this video up here back done deadlifts done everything else to do with back done as you'll see we're finishing on pull overs here with an ez bar reason behind that guys i've covered this multiple times but i choose to use a bar over a rope because when i use a rope i feel as if once i just overcompensate and i end up like this and i don't know what it is i think i've maybe got a slight imbalance on my lats but either way i feel such a difference of doing a rope and a straight bar or an EZ bar, so that's why we always use a bar. Much more fixed, like a machine, you can stay locked in from start to finish, so we've got no complaints there, no complaints with deadlifts. We had a really good session, now we move on, we recover, we eat, and then we go again. But as always, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, drop the video a like, sub to the channel if you're new, drop millions of comments down below, turn on post notifications. I don't know what else is next, so I'll catch up with you all in the next.